Welcome back to 602 Rose Show. We have picks for week four of Jen's season of The Bachelorette on the Rose League app. Doing okay. Doing okay. I mean, started the season in a pretty bad spot, have continued to be in a pretty bad spot. Um, you know, obviously not the start that I wanted. Uh, we are chasing hard. There are some high scoring points. Uh, currently 1,600 in Bachelor Nation, 16th in the Rose Show League. So, hey, good job to everybody for putting in better lineups than I am. I'm proud of all of you. Uh... <laughs> We'll see. We'll see if we can catch up. We're going to do something a little different this week. Try to catch up. Uh, pricing for this week is a little to be expected. Uh, Sam and Devin uh, up at the top with Thomas right behind them. Uh, what we're really seeing is this drama edit. And the rule changes for Rose League are really supporting the drama edit, the villains. Uh, it's really easy to get points. We've also seen some like really poor one-on-ones like really bad one-on-ones uh marcus's date comes to mind didn't score a lot of points we're used to one-on-one -on -one dates pretty much guaranteeing you a 50 slot none of the rules that would have done that in the past were removed uh, all we did was kind of augment the the drama edit stuff so the one-on-one -on -one dates are objectively lower scoring than they have been in the past so there's something to keep your eye on uh, Jonathan, Spencer, Marcus, Austin, Grant, Dylan, Jeremy, all kind of wedged in the middle here. Your value plays are John Mitchell and Sam N. Uh, this is a tough one. This is a tough one this week. Um, spoilers from here on out. Uh, your one-on-one -on -one dates are Sam M and Devin. So even though they're 26 roses a piece, I think you have to have them. We're still going to get the drama edit out of Sam. We know that. We're still going to get the drama edit out of Devin. We know that. We've seen that in the previews. Um, it looks like focus of the show is going to be them butting heads while the other guys are all on a group date. Um, can't pass up those points at, at this point in the game. This is week four. If you're chasing in your league, that's not the spot to get cute. Uh, I'm chasing in my league. I'll show you where we're going to get cute, but... Uh, lock in Sam M and Devin at 26 roses apiece. Now, because of that, you really <laughs> run out of room to work with. I'd love to have Thomas N. You can't really get him in your lineup uh, in a meaningful way. Uh, 20, what? Well, yeah, you can't. You can't get him in your lineup if you have Sam and Devin. Um, but I do want some of that drama. So I'm going to do something I almost never do. I'm going to take someone who goes home. Give me Sam N. He kind of gets this weird edit we see in the preview. Uh, he hasn't scored a whole bunch of points. This is a home run swing for me. This is a big cut. Uh, he's either going to implode spectacularly. Again, we're playing into the new scoring. Or this will be a horrible pick. And I'll still be you know, dead last. So give me Sam N. Uh, and then I want the guys who win... The rugby date. And not exactly sure. It's, I spent a lot of time uh, it's Sunday right now. I was waiting for this trailer. It didn't help at all. Uh, I think the blue team wins the rugby match. But Thomas N looked like he was on the orange team in a bunch of the stills that I was able to pull. And he's at the nighttime group date. I originally thought that whatever team won the rugby match would have extra time with her in the night portion of the date. But I believe that Thomas N and Sam N are on this on different teams, and they're both there in what is essentially street clothes having an argument at a nighttime portion. So maybe everybody's there. I'm not sure. That was my original lean. So I am tr I'm going to pick two guys who have scored okay that I believe are on the blue team. They'll get the points for winning, and then potentially maybe maybe Thomas is the MVP or something that's how he gets there it's really hard to tell with the cut but give me Spencer at 18 and Marcus at 16 so Spencer and Marcus have had decent edits Marcus we know goes far Spencer has kind of played like the cop role he's been policing the house a little bit we see him get upset in the, in the preview so maybe i can glean some points there we'll see sam m 
Devin, Sam N, Spencer, Marcus. Again, hoping for the winning team of the rugby match. Um, and then lean into the drama edit wherever you can. Uh, let me know in the comments what you're doing with your lineup this week. Uh, I, I need the help. So you know, if anyone has a, an alternate opinion, I would love to hear it. Uh, check out the channel. Make sure you subscribe. There's some new stuff coming. Football season's almost here. So very excited for that. But in the meantime, enjoy this week with Bachelorette. Thank you for joining us on 602 Row Show. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.